Hi dears, this is me in the studio today, ready to shoot my class now, because I'm going to teach you all the conditional sentence starting from the first to third conditional speech. Today we'll be talking about conditions, which is very common among English users and those who wanted to enhance their grammar. Let's look at the first grammar structure. If conditional sentence, which is first conditional. When we talk about first conditional, we are supposed to talk about trust and trust based things and facts, daily routines, everything that is related to now. And actually the consequence is going to happen in the future. So if you do something now, it will happen in the future. You will see the result of an action in future. How? Let's say the first, the structure. If present simple, comma, in future simple. Let's say, if you take extra water with you, so if you take it with you, you will be able to survive in desert. If you don't take it, you won't survive in desert. So, you're probably going to substitute, change the places of two things. As I mentioned here, if you pay attention to the words, to the letters that are bolded with marked with the red color, say if and comma here, so it's very important to note. If you begin the condition with if, so the if clause has a comma. So if you begin the sentence if with if, then you're gonna use comma. But if you're going to use the sentence like you will be able to survive in desert, there is no comma because the substitution is with if. I'm going to repeat again. If you take the water with you, comma, you will be surviving in desert. Or the second option, you will be able to survive in desert if you take water with you. There is no comma, so be careful about it. Now let's move on to the second conditional speech. So, when do we use actually the second conditional, which is actually imaginary, and the result is now? Even though the structure sounds a bit past, but uh, when we talk about second conditional, actually, we don't have that one. Say, let's look at example. It will, it will tell you the same structure begins with if. If I won a billion dollars, I would buy a new car. The same happens with if, and there is comma. What happens if you change the clause, two parts? Let's say, I would buy a new car. There is no comma, if I won a billion dollars. So, the, the trust is, you don't have a billion dollars. So now, you don't have a billion dollars. It's just an imaginary action that is happening now. So, you can buy a new car. Let's move on to the third conditional speech. When do we use the third condition of speech? The same was imaginary. I would say more of a hypothetical situation that is just the imaginary but in the past. Let's say the structure. The structure is the same with the first and the second condition of speech as you just been paying attention to the first letter if. So we actually going to use and start the sentence with if. If I had got past perfect, if I had got a gold medal, comma, I would, the same goes, the, the difference goes here, I would then have then past participle, which is actually the third form of a verb. I'm gonna repeat, if I had got a gold medal, I would have been over the moon. I would have felt happy. The same goes with, I would have been over the moon if I had got a gold medal. Here it is. So we have undergone three different conditions, which is first, second, and third one. Now, here is your turn to look at the examples and take them as a homework. Let's say the first conditional exercise. Now you're asked to complete the first condition sentence with the words in the box. By using the first condition sentence, remember the structure if plus present simple, then future simple. Remember to use or to omit comma with if. 
So here we have five different sentences. And then here is for you the second as a bonus, second condition exercise. Now here we have different questions that you're supposed to answer by using the second con questions, condition questions. Say, if a stranger on the street asked for some money, how much would you give? Let's say, if a stranger asked me for some money, I would give him 10,000 som. Now it's your turn to use these questions and try to think and write by using the second conditional sentence. And then we have the last but not least the third conditional exercise for you to do. At the same time, we have five different sentences that have been exemplified for you. Now, but to pay attention to the symbol. If you have a plus here, so you're asked to make them positive. If you have minus, so you're asked to them to make them negative. So, this is going to be the end for today. Well, honestly speaking, I taught you three different conditional speeches and I'm going to tell you that one thing. Please practice at home and get ready for the next class. Bye-bye.